everybody. I finished cooking everything for Shabbos and now I'm ready to sit down with you all and tell a story. If by I you mean we, I did some stuff too. Yeah. That's so true, you did. But wait, where did you get that shirt? Oh, we'll talk about that after the song. Oh. love to share. Grandma and Saba and Grandma, we're so glad you're here. Whoa, that was fun. Yeah, hey everybody. So do you see my new shirt? Yeah, I was gonna say, I really wish I had a shirt like that because it's really cool. Move your guitar. Oh yeah, I should do that anyway. Um, Zaba. Yeah? You do have a shirt like that. Seriously? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness, goodness. Ooh. Thank oh. you very much to our good friend who made this for yeah. us. All right, today's story is a wonderful, exciting story that we were inspired to tell by a folk tale called The Magic Pomegranate that was retold in a book by Panina Schramm. But this is our little take on the story. Oh, you'll probably begin to see how it's different than an old-fashioned uh, folk tale. The Magic Pomegranate. Once upon a time, there were three siblings who loved adventures. The oldest brother, his name was Aleph. The second brother, his name was Bet. And their youngest sister, was named Gimel. They did love adventure and they decided to make plans to have the biggest adventure of all. But Olive had an idea. I think that we should all go to different journeys. I will go to the east. No, I think I wanna to go to the west. I'll go to the east and I guess I'll go to the south. Yes, let's all go out, they said, and each one of us should bring back some interesting, unusual, and unique object to share with you. Okay, this sounds like really fun. Let's meet back here next year. Lehitraot, see you then. Aleph arrived at a town and saw many magical things. Oh, oh, look, I see magicians and jugglers and dancers and acrobats. What a marvelous town whirling all around me. That magician over there is holding up a beautiful mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this magic mirror. When I look into this mirror, I can see the most distant corners of the land. <gasps> oh my, I would love to have that glass for my own. It would certainly be an unusual and special object to share with my brother and sister. Hello, Mr. Magician. Tell me, sir, how much is that magic mirror? I should very much like to buy it from you. No way, I'm not selling this mirror. It is priceless. Oh, but please, I will pay you very well. At first, the magician would not sell the magic mirror. But after Alex, I'm sorry, after Aleph pleaded and pleaded and begged, 
the magician agreed to sell it to him. Ah, well, all right. Hand over the money and I'll hand over the mirror. Here you go. Okay. <gasps> oh. oh, oh, how wonderful. Now this magic mirror belongs to me. Wait till my brother and sister see this next year. Ha ha ha. In the meantime, Brother Bet had traveled to a county way in the east. Wherever he went, he kept his eyes open for something special to bring back. Well, now that my journey has brought me to this county, I must look for an unusual gift that I can bring back to show my brother and sister. What, wait. I, I hear some music coming from that shop down the street. I see it is the shop of a carpet seller. Carpets, carpets for sale, carpets for sale. Beautiful, wonderful carpets here. Bet went over to examine the seller's carpets. They were beautiful all brightly colored, but suddenly he saw one carpet at the top of the pile that seemed to be moving by itself. It, it seemed to be flying above the other carpets. Whoa, 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 whoa! What kind of carpet is this one? Come here and I'll tell you. It's a magic carpet. Buy it and it will take you anywhere you want to go. And very quickly too. Ah! I love it. I'll take it. So Bet paid the carpet seller exactly the price he asked. Bet took the magic carpet and hopped onto it and flew away. Woohoo! Woohoo! Everybody should have one of these. A magic carpet. Yay! Now, let's catch up with the young Gimmel who had journeyed to the south. Oh, where am I? Oh, I hear the birds chirping. Look at this beautiful, beautiful forest. The trees are so green and it's so lush. Now, I must find something that I can bring back to show my brothers. Oh, look at this beautiful grove of trees. Well, all the trees, they look pretty much alike, except Wow, wait, this one looks different than the others. It, it has a different shape. Oh, it's a pomegranate tree. Look at the magnificent red and orange blossoms. It's so lovely, but look, weird. There's only one single pomegranate on the whole tree. Gimmel approached the tree and reached out her hand to pluck the beautiful single pomegranate. Before she could touch it, the fruit fell right into her hand. Oh my goodness, that is magic. It's so beautiful. It has a crown on it just like the crown of King Solomon. Oh, this has got to be a magic pomegranate. But I wonder what kind of magic it performs. Oh, wait, where did the pomegranate tree go? Now I know this is a magic fruit. This is what I will bring back to show my brothers. 
the year passed. The three siblings came back together as they had planned. They were so happy to see each other. It had been, after all, a whole year. They were anxious to show each other the unusual objects they had brought back from their journeys. First, Aleph spoke. Ah, I brought back a magnificent magic mirror from the West. When I look into it, I can see things that are happening all over the world. As a matter of fact, let's try it now. Let me look into the mirror and see what I can see. He looked into the magic mirror. Ah, oh, my goodness, I see a troubling scene. In a faraway land, I see a, a great scientist. She looks very unhappy in such despair. Wait, let me listen to see why she is so sad. Oh, I hear that she is missing one ingredient for her scientific discovery. It's a discovery she's been working on for years and it will help everybody all over the whole wide world. Oh, Gimel, Bet, we must help her. Well, I brought, said Bet, a magic carpet. And this carpet flies, but not only does it fly, it flies anywhere in the world you want to go and so, so fast, so quickly. Dear Aleph and Gimel, get on my magic carpet and we will fly there. In what seems like only three seconds, Aleph, Bet, and Gimel arrived at the laboratory of the young scientist whose name was Dr. Dalit. They knocked on the laboratory door and a tired voice said, come in, but be careful not to trip and all the things that the people had sent have sent to me. Everybody hopes that these things will be the magic ingredient to finish my discovery. But there are so many things that have not worked. There are spiders and beetles, magic thread and magic needles, cabbages and carrots and feathers from parrots, red paint and green jam, the dyed wool of a lamb, bike wheels and elevators and sweet orange potatoes. Well, I wonder, said Gimmel to herself, if maybe my magic item could be the missing ingredient. Dr. Dalid, I have a magic pomegranate. Do you think that might be the item that will complete the discovery? Well, we've got to find something that works or the whole discovery is for nothing. So let's just give it a try. What do we have to lose? Gimmel approached the table where there was a tall glass tube filled with a still clear liquid. She took the pomegranate and cut it open with gentle care. Surprisingly, there were only three plump seeds inside. She carved out those three juicy seeds and plopped them right into the tube. Plop, plop, plop. In just seconds, the clear liquid began to magically bubble and then turned into a rainbow of colors. 
and the droplets fell all over the room. And as the droplets fell on all of them, they immediately felt an amazing feeling of love and calm and the desire to make the world a wonderful place for everyone. Oh, my goodness, I haven't felt this happy and hopeful in years. I think I want to dance. Oh my goodness, I haven't had that much exercise in a long time. I am so, so grateful to all of you, but the one of you who saved my discovery will be appointed my special assistant. Which one will it be? Will it be Aleph, Bet, or Gimel? Well, I think I should be your special assistant. If it weren't for my magic mirror, we wouldn't even have known that you needed help. Hmm, that might be true, but if you didn't have my magic carpet, we would never have arrived so quickly. Otherwise, it would have been too late to save the discovery. I think I should be the doctor's special assistant. Mm. It was my magic pomegranate that was the final agree, uh, ingredient for the discovery. I think I deserve to be Dr. Dalid's assistant. The three of them couldn't agree on who could be the special assistant. Each one of them was clever and hardworking and had a good heart. Each one had contributed to the project. Each one had done their part, but who should it be? Then Dr. Dalit said, listen, my friends, I'm going to ask you each a question to help me decide. Aleph, has your magic mirror changed in any way since you arrived here? Mm, no, the magic mirror is the same as always. I can still look through it and see to every corner of the world. Bet, has your magic carpet changed in any way since you arrived here? Mm -mm. Nope, nope. My carpet is just the same. I can fly anywhere in the world on it, as always. And you, my dear Gimel, has your pomegranate changed in any way since you arrived here? Well, yes, Dr. Dalid. Um, my magic pomegranate is pomegranate is no longer whole, for I gave you its seeds. Hmm. 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 I have made my decision. I will appoint Gimel as my special assistant. It is Gimel who performed the greatest deed because she gave up something of her own that now she doesn't have anymore. You, Aleph and Bet, you helped a lot, but it was Gimel who gave the most selflessly. So the reward she earns should be the most treasured. Yes, 
Yes, we do agree with you, doctor. We agree that you're making a wise decision choosing Gimel, but can we be of help as well? Certainly. You all had a part in completing this project. So I appoint you both to serve as my special advisors as we continue to explore ways to make our world wonderful together. The end. Wow. Wow. Grandma, that was so amazing. That was one of my favorite stories. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, you know, pomegranates are really cool. I, I, I seed one once. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens that I have, you know, this, this song, and this story rather, tells us that if people have different talents and abilities and things they can do well, if they help each other with those talents, the world's going to be a better place, right? We know that's true. Yeah. And here's a song about that. It's going to be a very much more wonderful world. I know a lot about history and a lot of geography. Baseball is a game where you're a star. So very far. Each of us has things that we can do. And if you teach me and I teach you, what a wonderful world this would be. I got a mirror that can see so far. Doesn't matter where you are. I got a carpet that can fly away. Take me where I want to go today. If what I have makes you Hit the ball much better now. Max taught me. Cause my friend, he showed me how. Now, now if everyone would do like that, I'm really I'm very so certain that what a wonderful world this would be. Now I don't claim that everything is easy, but there are things I can do. Hit the ball much better now because my friend, my grandson, showed me how that's facts. Now, if everyone would do like that, I am really very certain that what a wonderful world this would be! What a wonderful world this would be! What a wonderful world this would be! That is a great song. Thank you, Zabo. Before we go, it's Shabbat almost, isn't it? I know. I did all my cooking before, so we'd have time to yeah. tell a story. You know, they just started the month of Tammuz, and right after Shabbat, hopefully, we're going to say hello to the new moon. Oh. And there's a song that we sing that night when we say hello to the moon. Let's sing it now. Um,
everyone. Shabbat Shalom, Choresh Tov, have a great week, a great month, and we'll see you next time with another story and song with Grandma and Zaba. Bye. Bye.